Today we will stay in the Phoenix Phoenix Wings Spa. Yeah. Are you there? No. Us. Uh, Elisa! I didn't think anyone else would come here so late at night. Sorry, I'll get out now. There's no need to shout. I, um, I actually already knew that you were here. I'd ask the manager beforehand. So I thought now might be a good time to talk with you. Um, pardon? Pardon? Ah, <sighs> there's really nothing like a warm bath on a cold winter's day. Gazing up at the night sky, feeling the warmth of the spring coursing through your whole body, this is such bliss. I cannot go in the wind. My body doesn't like heat. Uh, yeah, I couldn't agree more. It, it's my favorite time of year to relax in the springs too. But both of us bathing in here together is really, really not a good idea. Doesn't it bother you even a little? The two of us here alone feels kind of... I don't know. What's the big deal? I'm covered up, aren't I? I'd appreciate it if you didn't stare so hard, though. I might have managed to pluck up the courage to come in so kind of embarrassing. Well... I wasn't doing it on purpose. Sorry. But what made you need to pluck up the courage to come in here to begin with? You said you wanted to talk. Anything in particular? Well, um, I just wanted to thank you. Thank me? Thank me for what? For bringing the old again. 
I don't feel like I've done anything that warrants being thanked. You have, though. And for everything, really. I wanted to thank you for surviving all this time so that we could meet again. And I wanted to thank you for coming all the way to Nord to get me. Maybe we can't be here with Crow, but because of you, the rest of us are back together again. Because of me? That's not true. Besides, it was only because of you guys that I was... <laughs> I knew you'd say that. Still, I feel like Class 7 is what it is because you're at its center. We had faith that you get back up on your feet and fight. And it's because you followed through that we've come this far. I'm not the only one who feels that way either. So, thank you, Reen. I... <laughs> <laughs> ah. ha, ha. Oh, oh, come on! Knock it off with the laughing! It wasn't easy to come here and say all of this, you know. <laughs> I'm sorry. I wasn't laughing at you. It just finally hit home that everything Elise said was true. I had no idea that everyone was thinking of me as much as they were, or that so many people were looking out for me. It just made me realize all over again how blind I've been all this time. So I couldn't help but laugh at myself. <laughs> well, I can accept that. And now that you know, I don't want you to ever forget it. We've been through so much together, Reem. We have a bond so strong, nothing- Don't worry. I won't forget. Now that Class 7 is together yeah, again, I'm sure we'll be able to go back to the Academy one day. As long as we don't give up, I know we can make that a reality. So, let's give it everything we've got. Of course.
coin. I have no one.
Uh, you went up a rank. Here's a little something from the guild. Keep it up. You did all right, I guess. I thought long and hard about it, and I think we as a class need to find a third way. A path of our own, separate from the ones the reformist and noble factions are taking. A third way, you say? I do agree. It wouldn't feel quite right for us to directly support either side. True. We might be military academy students, but we're still students. Involving ourselves in a civil war isn't something we should take lightly. We might have a Divine Knight on our side, but we're still going to need to be very careful how we proceed. Whatever we do, Valimar will certainly be at the center. No doubt. We've all seen how powerful the Divine Knights are. If we use them right, we can intervene in the war as much as we want. They're quite literally beings of legend. However, his potential influence on the war is all the more reason why he will need to be used cautiously. Hmm. What are we gonna do then? Even if we agree on not siding with either of the factions, I'm pretty sure each of us have different stuff we want to do, and different things that we have to do too. Yeah, that's true. For my part, I need to rescue Elise and Princess Alfin from the Noble Alliance's clutches. Whether it's alone or with you guys, it's something I'll do. There's no way you'll be alone for that. We're with you all the way. I'm concerned about Dad too, what with them having him under arrest. I still can't get in contact with Fiona either. I'm glad I was able to see Dad, but I'm worried about her. For me, I'm worried about Ruwer as a whole. It's a huge relief to see you're alright, Sharon, but Mother's still unaccounted for. I'm sorry I can't do more to comfort you, my lady. And I have no idea where Father's been for the past month. I'm certain he must be well, but all the same... We're all worried about our families, I see. Hopefully, we can find some information on all of them before the fighting gets any more fierce. <laughs> I'm certainly not worried about the safety of mine. Although, suffice it to say, if we choose to intervene in the war, conflict with them is all but inevitable. That goes for Zeno and Leo, too. They've been hired by the Noble Alliance, so I'd say it's likely we'll run into them in the future. Plus, Emma and I still need to talk to Vita. To see what exactly she's trying to do. To figure out what's so important to her that she was willing to break a taboo to do it. That's true. Whatever you decide to do, you'll have my full support. Just as the warriors of Nord did 250 years ago, I'm determined to fight to protect my second homeland, and those who live within it. Oh, same! We can do this! I can back him up, right, Claire? How could I say no? I have my own duties to take care of as part of the Railway Military Police, but I fully intend to support all of you with everything I have. Yeah, sure. So explain. I'm thinking it's about time I return to helping the guild, actually. But I'll still be in touch with Sarah, so I'm sure I can lend a hand or two anytime you need it. <laughs> Naturally, I'd be overjoyed to continue serving as your dormitory's caretaker. I'm your instructor, so you're stuck with me to the very end. Whatever you choose to do, you'll have my support. You're going to need to decide on a more specific course of Resolving to find a third way is a start, but only a start. It also leaves plenty of questions that need to be answered on top of it all. Well, then how about this? Let's figure out right now whether or not we want to keep using Ymir as our base of operations. Just so we're clear on this, there's a limit to how many people can use the spirit path at any one time. And with as many people as we have now, I'm not sure how useful it's going to be at this point. And we're limited on how frequently we can use it. Oh, right. But we're also just as limited on where we can go otherwise. We haven't exactly been the most subtle group around. An astute point. The Noble Alliance will no doubt be even more wary of us than before. In the end, no matter what we decide, we lose. Indeed. 
Yet we're short on time, so a decision must be made now. There's gotta be something that only we can do. Yeah. I don't know what it is, but I know it exists. And I'm sure that we'll find it. The best thing we can do now is keep talking things out until we find a way. There's no point in rushing into a decision. Well, doesn't this look fun? Mind if I oh join in? Vida. What in the world? It couldn't be. Vida? <laughs> it's lovely to see you again, Emma. You were finally able to reunite with all of your classmates. I'm happy for you. Really, I am. The goddess was on your side after all, hmm? <sighs> Cut the crap, Vita. Have you been listening in all this time? Where are you? <laughs> I'm not far at all. Listen closely now. Th that sounds just like... Is that? Then no I am. It's coming from above us. <laughs> Isn't that the Noble Alliance Forces flagship? What's the Pantagruel doing here? Damn it! I didn't think she'd tell the rest of their army where we were. But why now? <laughs> why? Because our preparations are finally complete. Vita! Vita! You're here! Yes, I am here, in the flesh. Good day to you all, Class 7. Hmm. As nice as it would be to finally give you a hug, Emma. I wouldn't want to keep our guest of honor waiting any longer. So, without further ado... Is that really you, Crow? There's no doubt about it. See, you damn terrorist! Come on! One. Right! Heed my call! Valinor! This time. Because at the end of the day, he's just an obstacle that needs to be overcome. So lend me your power, Valimar! Very well. Use my power as you see fit. <laughs> You've really taken to piloting since your last encounter, haven't you? I was hoping you would, and you didn't let me down. You boys have so much potential. But potential is only that. Potential. And you, Reem, 
might want to reevaluate just how many oh, obstacles no. need overcoming. Bowbine, the valley, General Leo, and This is bad. Aren't those the Alliance's allies? Long time no see, kiddos. You doing all right, Fee? I see the purple lightning has joined your ranks. Zeno. Leo. Zephyr! And a few members of Ouroboros, too. Guess all the big guys wanted a piece of us today. And look, Sammy's here, too! Kindly stop referring to Clown Soleus with that bizarre nickname. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, it's such a pleasure to visit this wintry wonderland once oh, no, again. No. Oh, it's a pleasure, all right. Time for my long-awaited revenge has finally come. Now you shall pay! It's only been two days since you first fought them, you know. This could pose a problem. Why send so many powerful allies here? And all at once? <laughs> You've proven to be rather formidable adversaries, after all. It wouldn't do to underestimate you. What? Rufus! I'm pleased to see you all again, ladies and gentlemen of Class 7. As for you, dear brother, I was told that you'd run away from home. Does my heart good to see you safe and sound? So, you've finally gathered up the will to make the difficult choices life set at your feet, I presume. Even if those choices place you in my line of fire. Yes, I have. I can't believe he's shown up too. The Noble Alliance is pulling out all the stops to finally get rid of us, aren't they? Reen, we'll take care of everything here. You and Valimar have your own battle to fight. Are you sure? <laughs> We're in for a real brawl out here, but a guy couldn't ask for better opponents. Leave the battle on the ground to us. <laughs> We've no intention of backing down without a fight. Wait, Sharon! I know they're all strong, but still... Well, what do you say we get started? Here he comes! <laughs> I'm impressed. You managed to hold your own better than I expected you to. It's only been a month or so, but you've really grown as an Awakener, Reen. Well, it's hard to go through the kinds of things I have without growing from the experience. And now that I've done all that, I'm going to be the one who takes you down! <laughs> no, you're not. I said you could hold your own, not that you could win. Remember, there's still a three-year gap's worth of experience between ah. us. And it's time you realize just how much of an impact that gap has. That's enough, Crow! Do they really stand a chance? Well, they're putting up a good fight so far, but... Yeah, it's not looking good. They're outnumbered, for one thing. Then it's time we lent them our aid. Agreed. Weapons at the ready, guys. Always in a rush, I feel. Stay right where you are. I'll serve as your opponent today. You will? Trying to stop us from joining in? <laughs> I'd rather our intrusion cause as little inconvenience as possible for the people of this village. 
I'll let you make the first move. Robot! It's been quite some time since I last instructed you in fencing, Yosis. I look forward to seeing how you've improved. Wow. His guard's perfect. Stay alert. Rufus is a master of court fencing. We'll need to put all we have into this battle to even stand a chance against him. I would have it no other way. Show me what you're capable of. I'll handle this. I won't deny that was an entertaining diversion. But you'd do well to intensify your training regimen if you hope to best me. <sighs> well, how is he so strong? He didn't stand a chance. He might even be stronger than Sarah. Are you guys okay? Hey! You really think you've got time to be worrying about them? You ain't getting out of this one, Green. All right, bring it on! It's time to settle this, Crow! Bring it on! This will be a tough one. Be careful! Sit! 
Enough for you. <clears throat> you didn't even bother to use that trump card of yours. Uh, he wasn't even trying last time, then was he? <laughs> Come on. With the way you are now, I don't even need to try. I'll always win. And that reen perfectly illustrates just how massive the gulf between us is. Maybe you think you've had it tough up till now. But you're gonna need to go through a hell of a lot more if you want to even the odds. <gasps> I see the battle here has come to an end. Ah, oh, hey, Via. Hmm. I can't help but feel a little bummed that everything went exactly as I thought it would. Still... It just goes to show how much faith I have in your skills, my sweet Azure Chevalier. Funny, I don't recall ever becoming yours. How's everything up top? I think it's only a matter of time before the battle is decided. But, we've caused enough trouble for the people of Ymir already. It's a... Fenestrum oh, Phantasm Window. My apologies for not coming down to speak with you in person, ladies and gentlemen of Thor's Military Academy. You know who I am, of course, but I am Duke Kayen, ruler of the Lemaire province and supreme leader of the Noble Alliance. Duke Kayen? So even the big guy himself is here. <laughs> I must say, what a curious group we have here. I heard as much, but allow me to extend my most heartfelt congratulations. My expectations have thoroughly been exceeded. When I saw young Eusis and Laura in Legram earlier this year, I could never have imagined this is how we would next meet. Oh, I'm sure your parents must have warned you against wandering off with such disreputable individuals on a number of occasions. But I suppose every child thinks that they alone know what is best for themselves. Duke Alborea was simply livid about what happened. But it can't hurt to learn more about the outside world, hmm? Hmm. <sighs> Everyone that 
Lisa's mouth is condescending. Did you come all the way here just to tell us that? Don't be silly, child. Rain Schwarzer. I had this meeting arranged because I wanted to speak with you. Perhaps the method was a touch too garish for something so simple, but do forgive me for not formally requesting an audience. With me? <laughs> with you. Allow me to get right to the point. I wish to invite you, Ashen Chevalier, aboard our flagship. Huh? Wait, why? <laughs> I've heard all about your magnificent exploits across the land. And so I thought it would be nice to sit down and have a long, pleasant chat with you. About the past, the present, as well as your future. Are you suggesting... You... you want Rain to join the Noble Alliance? Should you accept my invitation, we will withdraw peacefully from Ymir. Furthermore, I give you my personal assurance that we will leave this village alone for the duration of this war. A fine proposition, is it not? Are we interested? No. <sighs> Very well. Allow me to accept your invitation. Don't be an idiot! This is clearly a trap! They wouldn't come all the way out here and take you into their flagship if it weren't! <laughs> I appreciate your concern. A trap or not, this might be a good chance for us, too. I think I'd regret it if I let it pass. Bellamar, transport Celine back outside. Are you certain? N now hold it right there! Don't worry about me. The odds were against all of us getting back together, but we did it. And I'm sure we can do it again, too. So just wait with Emma for now. I'll be back. Balamar, if you would. Very well. Oh, wait! It seems the time has come for us to part ways once again. But remember this. You're an Alborea. There is power and dignity in that name. To whatever end you would use it. I want you to prove that the convictions you cling to are worthy of your loyalty. Not for my benefit, but for yours. Wait! Lord Rufus! Well met, Lord Schwarzer. It's a pleasure to see you again. Allow me to extend my apologies for the harm my father visited upon this town and its people. Never mind that! What do you intend to do with my son? And what is a promising young man like yourself? We're simply going to borrow young Reen for a short while. There's nothing to worry about. I'm a busy man these days, though, so for now, I bid you adieu.
so see you guys in the next video and fine